Oh, oh god, no. Why? Uh, this is Not Safe for Work Magic. I'm your host, Gravity Groove. And uh, this is familiar. Um, I'm calling this one Boring Salti because it's boring. <laughs> um, basically, every card in this deck, <clears throat> or almost every card in this deck, replaces itself or is some ridiculous value play. You have the old standby of Hydroid Crisis, Casualty of War, your two for one, three for ones, Extinction Events, and X for one that, because our creature count is so low, is often a great removal spell. It also kills a lot of problem permanents, such as enemy Uros and Annexes and uh, what have you, things that need to be exiled. We've got Eat to Extinction, <coughs> pardon me, which uh, again, is uh, more exile play and gives us some direct planeswalker hate and exiling planeswalkers can be very relevant because it cuts down the usefulness of Elspeth Conqueror's death we have a couple murder riders in here uh, some tyrant scorned to have some uh, removal at the lower end tyrant scorn also works really well with hydroid crisis and that an early crisis can suddenly uh, refuel you by using your own tyrant scorn on hydroid crisis to redraw a bunch of things and potentially even dodge removal and recast it so uh good value play there thought erasure of course just a way to uh, once we have all of our lands try to kick them off to the graveyard and see where, what our opponent's doing what we're up against our uh land base is 28 lands originally we were trying 27 and then we tried 29 and 28 feels just about right you do often want more lands uh with a deck that's running casualties and crisis and uh yeah so our sideboard is a little different than our traditional sideboard of course it has the usual suspects of four cry of the carnariums uh one libation here this is again for dream trawler for certain bogles type strategies uh it also gets uh, reclamation is an additional card that gets that um this is this has been a card that i don't want often but when i want it it's the most important card uh, some counter spells, which we've gone back and forth between two and four here. Maybe it's three and three, but eh. Uh, and we're trying out one thought distortion because we're a deck that has Spiral and Uro. We could potentially ramp into it, but I'm not really sure what this card is for other than for the Reclamation matchup. I think the Reclamation matchup is the primary one you need it in. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of Azorius control, but I assume if that's a big, a big problem we need. We need it for that too. Uh, Unmort Ego is just a, a utility card here. You name Winota, you name uh, Zenith Sun or Zenith Flare, you name uh, you know Uro in the matches that are mirrors. Uh, and we're trying it out. You know, I've never been a big fan of these sort of effects, but there are uh, oh, you name uh, freaking Cat. God damn that Cat deck. We're trying it out. We're trying it out. And of course, being in salt eye means we uh, are going to have less trouble with the cat deck, which, according to M MTG Goldfish, is 23% of the meta right now, is John to Sacrifice. Which, as you saw on uh, <clears throat> one of our previous games on the stream, <clears throat> it's incredibly difficult to beat in bank colors without having access to uh, Cry the Carnarium. <clears throat> Damn. Apparently we're flummy today. I think this is okay. It's not great. Obviously we wanted a... We wanted a Gross Spiral for Christmas. Hey look, it's a cat deck. Okay, so it's just Rakdos Aggro with Gentaga's Companion. Interesting. I mean, we're basically dead already. We were on the draw, and he has <clears throat> Dreadhorde Butcher. So, we're very probably dead already. Just goes out.
So I guess we're going to try E2 Extinction on the Dread War Butcher. Or our opponent could just have literal everything, and it doesn't matter what we do. Because life just finds a way to suck all the ass. Score in the Mayhem Devil. Oh, should have done that first. That was dumb. That one point could actually cost me the game. Okay, we don't have what we need, Uro. One, two, three, four, five, six. We could play this. No, we still don't have enough to Uro. Um, we murderous rider the cat. Cast the cat. Eh, everything's bad. I think we just do a big crisis. My life. That was fun and fair and interactive. We got to do a lot there. We bring in our four Cry the Carnariums and not draw any of them. And that's about all we can do. Bring out a couple casualties of war. We do want to keep a couple in there because it kills uh, witches' ovens and whatnot. I don't think Unward Ego is doing a lot of work here. Guess we're leaving the Thought Erasures in. We don't have much better to replace them. Well, that was being on the uh, on the draw, and our opponent did draw really, really well, and we did not hit our Growth Spiral on two. Give this a shot.
See if we're gonna die to claim the firstborn again. <clears throat> it's weird, their deck is almost all odd. <clears throat> Hmm. Do we scorn and then attack? Yeah, I mean, save the, uh... We could save the exile for... Oh, he doesn't have anything right now, actually. Sacrifice it to. So that's not as big a problem. I guess we kind of did need to leave the thought erasers in to have better tools against claim the firstborn. I really hate that that one card could basically, uh, Make these aggro decks, like, undef indefeatable. It's pretty ridiculous. Maybe we don't care about Casualties of War. We just care about trying to keep ourselves from getting uh, claimed. I guess negate's another good way around that. Maybe negate was a better thing to bring in. Okay, we've got Thought Erasure on two again and Oro on three, so we're just gonna hope here. Ideally, we'll draw into uh, one of our Crowded Carnariums. Sweet. Erasure, try to take the turn three play. So we take Drill Bit in this case, or Mayhem Devil. I would Drill Bit. to land here. Perfect. We are taking a lot of damage from our, our mana base here. Which is dangerous because it brings us down to uh, the level that we can get got by claim. Um, I don't think I'm worried about that. to extinction that. Well, 
if he brings it back with this, we'll kill it again. Yep. So now we could Thought Erasure and Murder Strider. Kind of would like Murder Strider to just be a life gain critter though. I don't know. Yeah, I kind of think that's the play. Fuck that card. Um, just put this in the yard, right? Because it didn't resolve, we didn't actually lose the life, which is great. Now he thinks he has us, but the second cry of the Carnaria should close the door here. I really hate these cat oven decks. Every variation of them. They're just complete fucking cancer. They've always been cancer. It's just there was a super cancer in the Agent of Treachery decks. Tyrant Scorn allows us to Uro and then potentially pick it up if they uh, try to claim it. I like that. That seems like our best possible uh, best possible play, really. Watch how big we make our crisis boys because claim really really gets us. No, thank you. Really, really, really hate those cards. Both cat and claim, pretty obscene cards. Should definitely not be able to steal a 6-6, gain 3 life, draw a card for 1 mana on any format that's not Legacy. Uh, that used to be how magic worked. And you definitely should not have an infinite source of damage and life gain and blocking with 2 uncommons in Cat and Witch's Oven. It's uh, beyond fucked up that there's only one card that actually interacts favorably with that combination, and that's Cry the Carnarium, because it doesn't matter if, when, how they fucking sack it or it dies, any goddamn thing that dies that turn, pre or post resolving of that spell, is gone. Everything else, you have to play this fucking little game of, uh, you gotta get them recast it and activate their thing, and then activate it in such a way as that it leaves it in the graveyard for a moment, and it's it's a big bunch of shit, is what it is. Alright, let's see what our next opponent is. Oh, it's Sparky, apparently. It's always Sparky. Take your marks. Alright, what's next? Oh god, we need more coffee. Oh god! Can almost see the bottom. So our opponent is a hipster DJ. Uh, I don't think this is good. It isn't good either, but we're gonna keep it.
This is swamp, right? This is swamp. God damn it! Did I tell you that uh, Jun sacrifice was 23% of the meta? Did I mention that? Thought I mentioned that. <sighs> so we probably can't win game one. Our cries are in the sideboard. Do we want to see if they'll use this? If they'll use claim on this? Top deck in the world, Rider. Yeah, this pattern of play is just as bad as the agent of treachery. Take your stuff, kill it. Take your stuff, kill it. Have an infinite win condition. So we've got casualties of war here, but it doesn't do much. We did get the claim out of their hand. I guess we're eat, eating a cat. Okay, or a mayhem devil. I guess. It does not seem like a winning line. Okay, we need to make that go away, but do we wait for them to cast an enchantment or an artifact? I think we wait a turn. Of course that would happen. Of course that would happen. There's no other possible way that could have went down, right? There's just no other way that could have happened. Because it's us, and it's this show. Here. Every matchup today is going to be Jun Sacrifice. Did I mention that? I hope that's fun for everyone. Literally every matchup being Jun Sacrifice. 
I hope that's great fun for everyone. Oh wait, we have a sound effect for that. Okay, so every deck is cats now. Um, every deck is cats and claim the fucking firstborn now. There really is no deck that that we can attack effectively with this because they're just going to take our crisis and our Uro with claim. This, again, does not seem like a very good draw. It's very reactive. What's the primary card we need to stop in this deck? It, it's just gotta be Cat, right? If we can cast this before they stick a Cat, that's probably our best play. Cauldron Familiar. Only three, huh? Polis Citadel, probably the next one. Claim the Firstborns. One, two. Two claim the Firstborns. Yeah, I suppose we could have brought in all three of these and named Citadel as well. Um, can we, thank you, good interface. or extinction event. I guess cry, we save extinction event for mayhem devil. I guess the duress is gonna take either one of them, so. We're just gonna lose to card advantage now. Honestly, you're seeing why this format is so fucked up, because there's only two decks. There's, well, I suppose three. There's Teamer, there's this, and there's Ban. And you're seeing uh, just why this, this matchup is so miserable. This deck is so fucking resilient to every goddamn avenue of attack. Like, we've got a deck full of exile effects, and we're absolutely getting our asses kicked. Like, it's not even particularly close. 
We're just getting our ass kicked. That's disappointing. Citadel now, huh? Really needed to hit a land there so that we could get our Oro on the field. just going to die to this now. Again, you're seeing how fucked up this is. Like, this is solitaire. This isn't magic. This does not feel like a reasonable game. We continue to not draw land. That's our misfortune. Still no land. Doesn't this feel great? Doesn't this feel like a standard game? Like we're playing a normal, reasonable deck, and they're playing a modern deck, a legacy deck, a pioneer deck. Certainly not a standard deck. Watching Wizards? Is this your intention for the format? <sighs> as much as I love watching another guy jerk off, we've got to do other things with our time. Let's cue into it again.
So this is probably the fucking cat oven deck again, because we saw someone else running Rakdos with Genthaga, so that's probably a net deck. Yep. You thought I was kidding. You thought I was kidding that all the matches we queued into today were going to be cat oven. They're all cat oven. Mardu Knights. Okay. Um, another deck we need to cry against, really. I mean, this is going to be a really early Casualties of War. Got that going for us. Sure. Cut him off color no matter what I do there. Fucking menace. Um, yeah, that works.
Sorry, I uh, spaced out for a minute there. I was actually researching uh, with some of the people I play Magic with on Discord what they think the best matchup for uh, Cat Other would be. <coughs> Pardon me. And they have determined that Team of Reclamation is probably the best deck because we have both Counter Spells and Scorching Dragonfire 4X, which uh, seems pretty reasonable. So against knights, we just want all the cries, take out the thought erasures, and that's probably all we do here. Huh. 
All right. So we have Cry of the Carnarium and potentially the two black to cast it. So I think we have to keep this. We also have the green, blue, and black for Uro. All right. Getting an untapped black source would be pretty sweet. All right. I suppose we can always cast it on four if we don't feel like we're under that much pressure. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, that's real nice. You don't just win off of one cry with these decks, of course. You need multiples. We're hoping to see at least two creatures come down here. Perfect. Now we have Extinction Event for a rebuild. And that's all she wrote. So that's how the aggro matchups go in my dreams. My opponent's like, I have all these cool creatures that kill you. And I'm like... Whew. Whew. Good game, opponent. Uh, no, but seriously. We need to figure out what, uh, what beats the cat deck. And I really hope it's not Team of Reclamation because... I'm bad at that deck. I need to figure out the, uh, the stupid timing for the, uh... For the Reclamation Trigger, I'm always fucking it up. I know with repetition I'll figure it out, but like in paper, you just walk through it and it's fine. But in this game, it's like you go to the end step and you hold full control and then you do this thing and you tap all these things and then you do this other thing. And supposedly there's a way to uh, tap all of your mana with a shortcut now. I'm, I thought like I, I felt like I saw that in um, Float All, oh, Double Tap Q. Okay. Yeah, that was in one of the patch notes. I just haven't tried it. Double tap Q. So we could try that. Um, that does give us Scorching Dragonfire and um, Storm's Wrath and Flame Sweep and, of course, a decent amount of counter magic that will allow us to keep uh, Bola Citadel from stabilizing them. And, of course, Uro's life gain, which seems great. Uh, but our primary win condition isn't creatures, so their claim is largely dead. Yeah... I hope I don't end up having to play that. I'm bad at it, and I don't want to learn. I'm old. <laughs> I'll learn, damn it. I'll learn. I'll just eat shit along the way. So we, uh... We had an interesting run today. It wasn't my favorite time I've had playing this game, but... These fucking cat decks, man. We gotta figure it out. We gotta figure it out. And we're gonna keep playing, and, uh... Try to find something that works for us and is good at extinguishing this particular menace. Uh, but until then, this has been Not Safe for Work Magic. My name is Gravity Groove, and I thank you for hanging out with me and watching me try to slog through this meta. Uh, keep in mind, on June 20th, uh, I have to play in the Mythic Qualifier, and I really need to find a deck that's good enough by then. So I'm open to all suggestions of decks you think uh, convincingly crush the cat deck. Uh, if it is just Team Iraq, then I'm just going to have to fucking bite the bullet and figure it out. In which case, I should get to work. Uh, I want to try to keep fucking up the tap cycle uh, on stream to a minimum. <laughs> Thank you for watching once again. Boom. We'll catch you later. Can you leave one of these down there? That'd be great. Thanks.